In life, we all know it's not how many times you get knocked down that counts, but how many times you get back up. CBS's Steve Hartman goes on the road with an inspiring story of perseverance from man's best friend. A lot of dogs think they're human, but Dexter takes it to a whole nother level. To the point where I can now safely say, I have seen everything. Dexter lives here in Uray, Colorado, where for the past few years, this bicolor, bipedal Britney Spaniel has been turning heads wherever he goes. Oh, Dexter's owner, Kenty Pasek, says this isn't a trick she taught. It's an adaptation he made after a near-death experience. Come on. When Dexter was a puppy, he escaped his yard, darted into traffic, and got hit by a car. He lost one front leg and the other was badly damaged. So everyone assumed, to get around, he would need some kind of adaptive equipment. And he did use a wheelchair for a while. Until one day, when Kenty set the pooch at the foot of her porch without the wheelchair. And I ran in to go get my cup of coffee, came out, and he was right here where he is right now. And I was like, how is this going on? How did you figure it out? I put him back down there and I grabbed my phone to see what was going on. <laughs> here is the video she recorded. And I was like, oh, we're into something totally different. You never know where life's going to take you. You never know. In the six years since, Dexter has become a full-blown celebrity, starring in parades and building a legion of social media followers, who now come here from across the country, just hoping for a glimpse of U Ray's most upstanding citizen. Follow him on Instagram. Oh, good. The whole thing takes absurdity to new heights. But to many, Dexter is no joke. In this pile of mail he receives monthly are hundreds of letters of heartfelt gratitude. I'm recovering from intensive radiation treatments for breast cancer, and you certainly bring joy to my day. Where humans see obstacles. I mean, just... Often dogs beg to differ. Dexter shows us, why aren't you out there writing the book you want to write? Why aren't you out there doing the things you want to do? Because he has. Off he goes. And in doing so has proven that sometimes getting knocked down is the only way to see how tall you stand. Steve Hartman, On the Road, in Uray, Colorado.